Hey friends, I'm Rachel. This is Rachel Jane Wellness Channel on YouTube. I'm so glad you're here. To, in this little mini series, I'm going to be talking about using essential oils and wellness ideas to support your emotional health and your mental health. I am not a doctor. This is my personal opinion and things that have worked for me or worked for my friends. So I'm just coming at you with some personal experience and I hope that it will be helpful to someone out there watching. So if you are excited to learn about this, please hit subscribe and follow along. This is, like I said, a little mini series, this video. Um, I'm just gonna be talking through stress and what stress is and what cortisol is and that kind of stuff. So let's jump in. I'm gonna be using some notes to kind of keep me on track throughout the series. Uh, so, stress is, it can be both good or bad. Your body's not going to recognize, like, the difference, right? So, um, a good stress could be something that you're excited about, but still is, you know, a little bit like, okay, what's going to happen next? Like, okay, I'm moving across the country. I'm excited, but that's going to be crazy. Or, I'm going to have a baby. That's going to be great, but it's changing my life. Um, I'm getting married, I'm changing jobs, whatever it is. There's all kinds of good things that are still stressors in our life because often we just think about stress as a bad thing. So stress is bad. Um, that could be like you have an illness, you have a death in the family or a friend, a miscarriage, baby blues. Um, there's all kinds of uh, different stressors in our life, a job loss, a um, struggle in your marriage. There's so many different things that could fall under that category. The bottom line is life is hard and we have stress, good and bad, just all the time. Um, so how, how do we deal with that? The differences in the stress are all going to be different. Like it could be a really minimal stress, like, oh, um, it's freezing out today. <laughs> I'm sitting in my car on a break. Um, and it's cold. That's kind of a stressor, but it's pretty minor in the face of like somebody who's dealing with a, um, an illness and it's in, in the hospital with a loved one. So there's different severities, um, but, um, they all are stressors. So when you're stressed, your body produces cortisol, which, I mean, your body is producing that all the time. It is a hormone that is normally regulated and steady, but when you're stressed, it gets kind of out of whack and goes crazy. So um, this hormone uh, balances out your stress and it it kind of affects the digestive system, your immune system, reproductive system. Um, it's necessary for regulating blood sugar, metabolism, your sleep-wake cycle, inflammation in the body. It's crucial to uh, supporting developing fetus in pregnancy and um, just affects all kinds of things. Metabolism. Um, so when you get super stressed, your body kind of shuts down those other systems to protect itself and focus energy on um, the, like, the critical components of your body. So you might suffer from um, all kinds of symptoms. Like you, I have personally experienced like a daily headache, inflammation and joint pain, rash, anxiety, um, like having issues with energy, hair loss, brain fog, body aches and chills, upset stomach, uh, even like lack of sleep is a really common one that people experience. I have not had trouble with that, um, but more on that later. So your <coughs> cortisol is produced by um, like right above the adrenal glands of your body. So um, anyway, that's a little bit about that. And next video, I'm going to talk about what can help you because these are all like crazy things, crazy symptoms. So what can help you follow along and um, catch the next video?